Hi, my name is Tim Volk, and I work at the State University of New York College of Environmental Science and Forestry. And my job there involves working with willow that we're standing here looking at today and other sources of wood as a renewable energy source. One of the reasons that I find this field so interesting to work on is it's current and relevant, and it's an opportunity to make use of our natural resources uh, here in this part of the country to address problems and challenges that we're facing, so particularly in the field of renewable energy. Biomass, and wood in particular, is the second largest source of renewable energy here in the United States. So here when we talk about resources in the northern forest, the opportunity to make use of wood for multiple products related to renewable energy is significant. We can take wood for either from the natural forest or from systems like this where we grow willow to produce woody biomass and turn them into any number of different products. We can turn them into heat or electricity or at some facilities we turn them into heat and electricity at the same time. And now the cutting edge is taking wood and turning it into liquid transportation fuels and other bioproducts, things like biodegradable plastics or other chemicals that we currently are making from petroleum products. So we're standing here looking at a willow biomass crop that was planted three years ago. And the way we grow this crop is we start by putting a small piece of willow into the ground. One of the things that's appealing about willow is that you can take a piece of one-year-old dormant stem and stick it in the ground and it will produce roots below ground and produce shoots above ground and grow. So it's relatively easy to get established. With this step planter that we've been using here, we can plant about two acres an hour, which increases the operation speed for getting the crop in the ground and reduces the associated costs with planting. The way this machinery works is it takes a one-year-old piece of stem that's four to seven feet long. The machine cuts off a small section, eight to ten inches long, and pushes it down into the ground to the required depth. The harvesting that we do is done with a modified forage harvester. We'll come in and cut it off about two to four inches above the ground. The stems will be chopped up and the wood chips will be blown into a wagon. Here on the Tug Hill in northern New York, Many of the soils have a limited depth, tend to be poorly drained, and the growing season is relatively short. It makes this area marginal for many traditional agricultural crops. Willow presents a unique opportunity for landowners to be able to take that land that is marginal for other agricultural crops and to put it back into production. Because of the characteristics of willow, it grows fairly well on those marginal soils and can become an income stream for those landowners on land that was previously not being used to produce any, any particular product. The conditions here on the Tug Hill are also fairly representative of many of the areas of marginal soils across much of the northern forest. So willow presents an opportunity for landowners across that region to take that land and to put it back into production and to be generating an income stream and also contributing to the initiatives to produce more renewable energy.